you consider features of organisms, growth plays a major role in living organisms. So growth can be defined as the irreversible increase of size or the dry mass. So once the cell reach maximum growth limit, it will divide to form new cells. So let's talk about cell division. When you take cell division, every cell has the ability to grow and multiply its number. Right? So as humans, we also start from one cell and that one cell is divided up to more than 100 trillion cells when we become an adult. So cell division is the process by which new cells are formed by the division of cellular materials. So first of all, when dividing the cell into two, let's say if you have the mother cell here, when this cell becoming two new daughter cells, first of all, the nucleus in the mother cell is split into two. Right? For this process, you need some general idea about what chromosomes and what chromatin are. So, when the cell has grown up to a certain maximum limit, it will start to replicate. Right? So, normally in a cell, if you take a cell like this, right? If I take the nucleus like this, right? I have taken this nucleus a little bit larger so as to uh, present you how the chromatin behaviors, right? So here you can see first of all in the first stage you can see only chromatin fibers, right? Then when it gets ready for the replication what happens is these chromatin fibers get gathered to form those kinds of chromosomes right so what happens these strands will be condensed condensed to form chromosomes right these chromosomes will replicate itself to form chromosomes like this like this right so here it was only one chromosome here what happens it has been replicated right so that the same chromosome is doubled right the one which was here is doubled now the one which was here is doubled now right so here there is a protein called kinetoco protein so that these two strands are now called as sister chromatids these are called as sister chromatids so these sister chromatids are identical to each other let's say you have some genes here let's say you have a b c genes those genes will be present in these two sister chromatids so here also it will be a b c in this part also it will be a b c genes right so likewise the same chromosome the two pairs are called as the sister chromatids right and also if you consider if you consider a normal cell, normally there are 23 pairs of chromosomes. Let's say this was 1, 2, 3. Likewise, there are 23 pairs of chromosomes in our body. Right? So, out of the pair, one single chromosome is given by mother and other one is given by father. Right? Here also one from mother and other from father. So, if you consider this, by the sperm cell, you got 23 chromosomes. By the ovum, 
you got 23 chromosomes so these two are joined together to form these certain type of chromosomes let's say you have the gene type for eye color in this region right for father's chromosomes also here you will be having the gene color for eye right so these chromosomes represent the same type of gene but it can be different right? let's say father's one is black mother's one is blue right eye color will be black and mother's eye color will be blue even though characters change the type of feature will be same in the same chromosome same pair of chromosomes so this pair of chromosomes is called as homologous chromosome This pair is called as homologous chromosome. So there are 23 pairs of homologous chromosomes. And also this count that is 46 chromosomes. This chromosome number differs from organism to organism, right? If you take a fly, it will be about 20, right? Likewise, from organism to organism, this chromosome number changes. If you take a mosquito, it will be like 20. If you take a rat, it will be about 40 chromosomes, right? So likewise, this number can be changed, right? So these are the main things, theories you should know. Other than this, when the cell division is considered, there are two main cell divisions one is called as mitosis another one is called as meiosis right let's talk about mitosis first right. in mitosis what happens there is a mother cell right in the mother cell you have the nucleus here and you have some pairs let's say you have two pairs let's say these are two homologous chromosomes one chromosome from mother one chromosome from father one chromosome from mother one chromosome from father so these are two homologous pairs of chromosomes so let's say this is the two-way number we call this as also diploid number it has diploid number of chromosomes so in humans this diploid number will be equal to 46 right so when it's beginning to divide what happens these chromosomes will produce identical copies right so that it will form chromosomes like this right it's one pair is one pair that long pair genes and here's other ones right then after that here it is also 2n then what happens is these pair of chromosomes will be divided into two right so these two pairs will be divided into two as like this two long chromosomes and two short chromosomes here also two long chromosomes and two short chromosomes right so that the diploid number 2n will be 2n as it is it won't be changed right so here at start we had two homologous chromosomes at last also we had two homologous chromosomes so this 2n number or the diploid number hasn't changed so cell divisions like this are called as mitosis right so mitosis is the type of division in which the cell divides so as it maintains a constant number of chromosomes so if you take significance of meiosis it is usually used for growth of multicellular organisms and for asexual reproduction right and for wound healings mitosis is used right. 
let's talk about meiosis in meiosis what happens we are considering this cell the previous cell which had two homologous pairs of chromosomes right in these two homologous pairs of chromosomes you had one pair from mother then father he also mother from father right so these are two homologous pairs of chromosomes right so in meiosis there are two divisions taking place so if, if i take say, the first division first division in first division the chromosome number will be halved that means these homologous pairs of chromosomes will be separated into the two cells right so let's say like this i'm drawing only the nucleus part right so here it will be one here it will be one here it will be one and here it will be another one like this right so what has happened here here there was two n number of cells here there will be only n number of cells right so diploid number has been reduced to form haploid daughter cells right so this was the first division in meiosis there are two divisions this will be the first and the second will be a mitotic division the division we talked before right so this will be separated into another four cells like this so it will be having one long chromosome one short chromosome one long chromosome one short chromosome like this so at last you will be gaining four haploid dot cells from diploid cell right this is what you call meiosis first division is a meiosis division and the second one is a mitotic division right if you take significance of meiosis it is mainly it helps to maintain the constant number of chromosomes from generation to generation right let's think you have 46 pair of chromosomes if this didn't become half what will happen if sperm also gets 46 and if egg also get 46 what will happen these two will form 92 chromosomes so that will not happen any day right so this chromosome number is halved so that from generation to generation chromosome number is maintained constant so that's the significance of meiosis and also in evolution right meiosis plays a major role right when this meiosis division happening when these two homologous chromosomes are separated there will be some variations in these chromosomes right we are calling those as crossing overs Right. when the crossing overs happens this mother and father genes will be exchanged at some places so that these will be different from that of mother cells but in mitotic division that was same but in meiosis the genetic information will be changed right so this helps in evolution also so this meiosis division takes place in sperm production and overproduction so as you can see in the table there are some differences between meiosis and mitosis so in meiosis there will be two division taking place one is meiosis division and other one is mitosis division but in mitosis only one division takes place and also meiosis takes place in diploid cells while mitosis takes place in both diploid and haploid cells right so and also in meiosis variations can be happen due to crossing overs but in mitosis no variations happen the chromosome number will not change and also at the end of meiosis it forms four daughter cells but at the end of mitosis it forms only two daughter cells right so in meiosis it will become 
half of the chromosome number of the mother cells but in mitosis it will become same number of chromosome as the mother cell so these are the differences between meiosis and mitosis so hope you understand if you have any questions please comment below Thank you.